After giving the other paper a good try, I wanted to go back to the Arches watercolor paper to see if there is really a stark difference between them. I have used Arches before and was really pleased by the color retention, and that's kind of all that I really remember about it. I did watch another YouTube video about Arches paper and she verified with the company that the paper on the pads is the same quality as the Arches paper in the blocks, which again confuses me because it just doesn't seem to be a big enough perk to account for that price jump. And for this small painting, I am doing a little hairless cat drawn from an amalgamation of different photos, so it isn't really a specific cat. But this is kind of my favorite kind of commission to do, for example, a pet close up with you know, some floral or plant-like background. It's definitely my favorite thing to do. And my reaction to the Arches Hot Press, okay, I did this immediately after using the rough Bahong paper. I learned immediately that I don't like hot press paper. I just don't. I think it lacks character. I really like how the rougher texture papers just have their own character. It looks so much more interesting to look at. Whereas this hot press is so smooth that areas of flat color just look like areas of flat color. I found the Arches cold press was way more satisfying to work with back when I had one sheet of it. And I would have chosen that except that they didn't have any in stock when I went to buy this. So I was just kind of stuck with hot press and um, it works. It does the same kind of color retention that I'm looking for. I just personally think that maybe it just dries too fast. But you know, it, it does control really well and it lets you add layers and those are the things that I need it to do. And so I'm very happy with this paper. Mm. So like compared to the arches, to the Baohong, both of them together, I don't think it's a fair comparison because the texture is so widely different and the experience is so different that I greatly prefer Baohong over this specific Arches hot press paper. And I'm honestly guessing that if this was a more interesting textured paper, I would be probably on equal ground. I also really wanted to have a last ditch conversation about a Kickstarter I was involved in for an art zine called Hereth, A Longing for Home. There's something like 28 artists we have all gotten together to paint something on the theme of home and what that word means to us and how we feel about it in like a nostalgic way. And all of like the little bits of the art I've seen look so amazing and I'm really sad that really the only way to see this come together is through pre-orders and pledges to get this thing going and by the time you see this video there will only actually be like four days left if that sounds like something that you want to see happen or if you know somebody who really likes collecting art scenes and pins and cool prints and merch and stuff like that please click the link in the description and take a look it's a very <laughs> limited amount of time left which is why you should follow me on twitter or in a lesser extent, Instagram, so that you can actually be aware of all the things that we're doing. Also, if you would like a pet commission that looks exactly like this painting, there's a link for that too. And thanks for watching.